All right, so we bought ourselves a new tractor. This comes from McCune Motors in Springbrook. They gave me the best deal. Um, I can't quote prices because they're going to fluctuate from month to month and from week to week as the sales go on. But I can tell you right now that this was about ten to fifteen thousand dollars cheaper than the John Deere and the F, the Five Series. Okay, and it has more standard features like quick attach loader. Um, I know John Deere has a quick attach loader option on theirs, but it's all options. Now this thing is a Massey Ferguson 2607. There are four models in this series of tractor. This is what they call a light utility tractor. This is not a subcompact tractor or a compact tractor. This is a light utility tractor. There's nothing light about it. This thing outweighs the competition um, by I think at least 700 pounds. That's Kubota and John Deere. And it's got the Goodyear tires on the back, 16 by 9 by 28s. Um, and Springbrook Motors and, oh, sorry, McEwen Motors and Springbrook, they load their tires for you. That comes with it. That's part of the package. They gave free delivery for me out here. Um, we're not that far away. I guess we're 40 minutes away. And the fronts are 9.5s by 24. That's a huge tire. I can see the size of the tire compared to me. That's like past my waist. Okay, so why Massey Ferguson, not Mahindra or Coyote tractors? Um, I was worried about the lift capacity. I want to do large square bales. And I don't believe those little tractors could hold up to the abuse lifting something that heavy. This thing has it comes with a six foot bucket, has a skid steer attachments. Now you couldn't get the European style one too, the attachment that's six hundred dollars more, um, I believe. Now this thing at the knuckles will lift 2,800 pounds and about 17 to 1,800 pounds. Uh, I can't remember. It's measured so far off of the bucket. Now it will lift. It comes standard with a 911X loader, quick attach. And it's just a matter of pulling a couple pins, dropping your arms, pulling a couple pins. I'm not going to go through that right now. How to do that? Because I'm not. I haven't done it yet. Um, and the other option I liked about it. It came with four remote or two sets of remotes, and it comes with a drawbar, top link. Drawbar is heavy duty. Now it comes standard this model, the 20 set, 2607 with extendable draw uh, lift arms that makes hooking your uh, three point hitch up a lot easier. It comes with two different class balls on here. I think it's one and two or something like that. Um, easily adjusted. Sway arms with pins. You just drop the pin out of there. You can sway it back and forth wherever you want. This guard tips up. Cover comes off there. It comes standard with a trailer plug. Lights. Sign. Now it has a wide entryway here. Um, you can get in and out easily. It's got low level fueling. I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem later on with the gas tank right there. But uh, it's made out of heavy plastic. Cars have been using this for years. So I don't see a problem with it. Um, and this one here, you don't have to worry about the fuel. This is 70 horsepower, and you don't have to put DPF fluid in there, like um, urethra, and there's no DPF filter. It's all taken care of with an EGR valve and a converter on the other side that doesn't need to be cleaned. Air filter, fuse panel, relay center, uh, some more fuel relays and shit on the top. It's all easily got at, not hidden underneath of some stupid panel where you can't get to it. All your coolers are at the front. Oil fills on the side. It does have another one in the valve cover up top, but you'll never get to it. Um, well, I shouldn't say never. It's right on the top down there. Oil plug, fuel filter, oil filter. Um, what else? Now, the other thing I liked about this tractor, it's got a big heavy front differential, and it's got a side input, which means the drive shaft's tucked up underneath it. So. If you ever got into a situation where you're skidding or something like that, other things underneath would hit first, not that dry shaft. And it's all enclosed. And the rack, or the steering cylinder, I guess, is sitting on top of the rear end, so it can't be got at and bent. And these are on the back. And it does have enclosed U-joints in the side there. Now this model is 74 horsepower, turbocharged, 
Um, this is a Simpson motor, which is patented under Perkins Diesel, I believe. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. This should fit the bill. No pun intended. Now, like I said, this was about ten to fifteen thousand dollars cheaper than the than John Deere and Kubota. Um, I didn't really check out Mahindra or Coyote. I'm sure they're fine, those tractors. I just figured Massey is the name brand too. It's one of the top five in North America. So we're gonna stick with something that, it's not North American made, mind you. It's made in uh, India or in Indonesia, somewhere like that. But most of the John Deere's are made in China. So what's the difference, really? Um, apples and oranges, I guess. So why did we pick this? Uh, we bought something that I figured we could use later on down the road too if I want it to do hay again, um, something that might be strong enough to run around baler, which I don't think subcompacts are strong enough to do. It's not just piling hay. Um, we bought what we could afford. This is on the top end of our scale, uh, and it's no different than having a car payment. So we went with this. The only difference is this tractor is not going to depreciate like a tr new truck or a car. So we'll have this for a long time. Next job is to get it indoors because it's been sitting outside probably since it took delivery in the McEwen Motors, probably last fall sometime. So we need to get it inside and uh, we're gonna start working around here. Um, if you guys want a tractor like this, I highly recommend McEwen Motors and Springbook and talk to Bill, um, he'll set you right up. Now in Ontario, Canada, when I bought this, I don't know if it was just a sale they had on, anything over 60 horsepower, you don't pay the taxes on it. So this is 74 horsepower, we didn't pay tax on it, which is a bonus, that saved about five or $6,000 right there. And then when you buy, like I did, a bush hog with it, they knocked off a certain amount because it was sold with the tractor, and then they didn't have to charge tax on it either because uh, it was hooked to the tractor, so there was no tax on it, and they had, because I bought the tractor and the bush hog at the same time, we saved even more money. So that was a good deal, and it was hard to pass up, so we just said the heck with it. And now my old David Brown over there, it's going down the road with the bush hog. So anyway, um, I highly recommend you shop around um, and don't be afraid to pit dealers against dealers. If they want your business, they're going to they're gonna, uh, accommodate or beat the other guy's price. So, But uh, you have to look at the service too. Um, now McEwen Motors, I think it's the first oil change or maybe all the oil changes, maintenance on this. They don't charge a service call, and they just charge for the parts because they want it done right, so that they, they fronted that service. So um, you can talk to Bill more about that. I'm sure he's watching this video. Maybe he can comment down below. Um, it was a really good deal. Now it's five years, but I think the first two years cover bumper to bumper. It's some kind of prorated thing, that, but it's the whole drivetrain is covered for five years and then goes wrong with it but like uh, if you get a bulge in a tire they'll replace it uh, within the first year or two I think it is something like that not a big deal anyway guys um, I'm gonna put this Massey through its paces so stay tuned we got some uh, barn cleanup to do and I got a lot of bush hogging to do and maybe we'll get into some bailing again not sure yet but we definitely have hay to do this summer so stay tuned um, new tractor, I hope it works out for me. It's, so far I love it. I've only got about 11 hours on it right now. so.